Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us, Sam. Um, the intro I was spinning up previously was had something to do, uh, something along the lines of it's it's cool to get uh, people with a traditional legacy finance uh, background involved in in the crypto space. It, people were always thinking, uh, you know, what what would happen when when that type of thinking got applied to crypto, and now we're seeing that in a lot of different applications. I think FTX is a prime example. So uh, yeah, we're excited to hear about what what you're up to and your thoughts. Yeah, thanks. Um, and I don't know, really sorry that I'm, I'm uh, running late today. Um, yeah. uh, no worries. If we could uh, keep it to around five minutes, that would yep. be great. Thank you, Sam. Totally. So, um, yeah, I mean, thank, thanks everyone for having me. And, you know, I'm Sam Bankman Freedom, the, the CEO of FTX, and I'm Alan Research, and I, I've also been spearheading Project Serum. And, um, you know, there, there's, I mean, I'll, I'll, as always, a lot of things going on. But, you know, the thing that I think I want to, to, you know, just touch on briefly is like, how big DeFi could get, and 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 I don't want to say that it, it will get there, or that um, you know that I'm not saying that's inevitable, but what the upside is here, and and, and you know I think the upside is huge, and 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 you know the reason basically is um, that when you have a ton of different applications all uh, you know composing with each other in a decentralized ecosystem, you get a sort of power uh, that that is hard to get with centralized products because they can plug into each other. And 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 this is just super super powerful. You know, anyone who's tried to take tons of centralized processes and uh, and string them together ha has like seen the pain in doing that. And that like one or the other will ref you know one will refuse to work with the other. There'll be holdups. One will be expecting the other to, to deliver and won't happen. Payment processors are flaky. And, and you know, like every piece of this is just it's a pain. And you know, when you're trying to com combine like five things together, it's just something's going to break. And um, and so instead, you see these sort of islands of, you know, companies that have their financial suite that is like basically just like one internal thing that doesn't plug into other people's. But in DeFi, you know, we're already starting to see a bunch of, uh, you know, a bunch of of companies, uh, of protocols uh, build on top of each other, which is really exciting. And, um, and you know, I think that there's there's a case to be made that that this could get huge, that this could get to a billion people or more, that you could have a billion people using a single ecosystem in DeFi, and that, you know, you could have tens of trillions of dollars flowing through it, and tons of, of, of protocols all all gaining from each other, all able to build on each other. And that's worth a ton. And so, you know, that that's sort of the, uh, uh, that, that that's what I think is like, you know, really the, the most exciting part. And, you know, I think really the thing that kicked all of this off was, Something which, uh, you know, really Ethereum proved uh, a number of years ago, which is that a blockchain didn't just have to be a place to, to transfer coins. Um, it could be a generalized, you know, distributed computer, basically. It's basically termed complete. And 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 as soon as started, people started showing that in practice, you know, it started to all of a sudden become clear that, you know, theoretically, like anything, not anything like, I don't know, like shoes are, are probably not going to be, I mean, maybe NFTs, but physical shoes kind of need, need need the, you know, the soles and the laces and stuff. But, uh, you know, but I, uh, but that I, uh, in general, like a huge number of industries could be moved on chain because, you know, you can do arbitrary things there. And that, you know, as we sort of go forward through the next decade um, and, and look towards how big DeFi could become, you know, I think what we should be thinking about is how do we get there? What do we have to do to get from here to there? And, um, and you know, what what do we have to build? Who do we have to convince? Um, what is the product that, that we should be designing, that we need to be designing, that will unlock the ability for a ton of other protocols to move on? And thinking about what are the primitive financial objects that, you know, if we roll these out, then we can go to Visa and say, hey, look, we have all this shit built for you already, all these protocols, all these tools, and all this power. Um, and, I, you know, we think it's now compelling that that you should move your business on chain. We think it's going to help your business. And, 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 and as soon as you can get to that point, all of a sudden you've tapped sort of like really, really big potential uh, to, to generate waves and to get uh, get huge conversions. And so, you know, that's sort of what I think I'm most excited about going forward is figuring out what structures, what protocols, what projects we need to do that and and then doing them and building it. And, you know, sort of realizing this vision of, uh, you know, of having a 
generalized decentralized you know computation network used um, to process a huge amount of what what's going on in the world. Um, anyway, I uh, I you know I'll I'll leave it off there for now. Um, but I uh, that's what um, that's what where I think all the value lies, rather than thinking about you know what can we do to kind of maximize the valuation of 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 a you know of, of another token you know this week or something like that.